So within the last half hour, Media Place has upgraded big time to Media Place AI. And I was lucky enough to get in on the beta, so I was able to play around and see all the wonderful things. So I'm just going to show you very quickly some of the updates. And if you don't have Media Place yet, you want to buy it. And if you have Media Place, then all you need to do is close down your app. And when you open it again, it will prompt you for an update. So let me just show you. Um, I love the new homepage. <laughs> you can see I have a lot of images, um, cartoony images. But I like the new homepage and it can show you all of your files at a glance, which is cool. Um, if you just want to sort through some of those and it also lets you search through all of your files and you can just see some of your recent images and videos. So let's show you. Oh, first thing you're going to have to do is install the plugin for auto tagging. Um, if you don't already have these two, those were downloaded in the original media place. I already have this installed. It is a larger file size, but it will be worth it if you want to use the AI features. So just, you'll have an install button right here. So let me show you what I did. I'm gonna to go to my library, and this is how it used to look when um, we just had the original media place. I am going to click on my puppy. It has all of the same images that you already, I mean, sorry, the information that you already had. You can rate it, it has the color code so that you can copy the color codes and where you have it filed. You can add any notes and we used to add different tags. However, now with the auto tagging, you just right click on the image, click on auto um, Im image auto tagging and it's automatically adding them. You can have many tags or some tags. I'm going to do some, start the auto tagging. It's already done. And now you'll see I got six different tags. Now, maybe I want to go and I want to have many tags. I'm going to start that auto tagging. That was still pretty quick. And I'm going to close that and you can see it gave me a lot more. I don't think I need organism. I don't really know if I'll ever search living, but you could. Flooring, I don't know if I do that, but you can just delete what you might not want and add any more that you may want. If you want to put your um, dog's name there, you can do that as well. So that's a pretty cool feature. And I think from all of the early adopters, that is probably the biggest one that everybody is raving about. So let's see how we make those images. What did I do? I just went over here and hovered over here. You still have all of the same parts of the um, main menu to get to support, get the your installations, your AA plugin, etc. You have your home page, you have your library. Here is where we have AI. So I'm going to click on the AI. Let's go to images. And let's show you how quick and easy it is to do this. The first thing is you're always going to see a cat. That, that's their image to show you. You can change the type. So you can go in here and change it to a photo. You could change it to vivid. You could change it. And you'll see the preview right here. And you have all of these different styles that you can choose from for your images. I'm just going to scroll so you can see them all. Oh, I haven't seen the um, clay. Let's do clay. Did I show them all? Yep, I did. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, so now I'm going to be generating images like this. Then I'm just going to put my prompt in here. So let's... It did a pretty good job on my my little puppy. So let's look at young girl brown hair. Let's see if it can make me as a child. 
and I'm going to be surprised at the image. I don't know what this is going to do, but I can choose how many images I want. Let's just say two right now because I don't know if I want a whole bunch of them. And then I am going to generate my images and it tells you how many credits will be used. It's going to be one per image. So I'm going to create that. The magic is in progress. I hadn't even noticed that it gives us a progress bar too, which is helpful. Um, well, no, I don't think either of those really look like me as a child, but maybe that one. We'll see. But that's how quick and easy it is. And then you can just save it into, it would save into my generated images because it's saying save to the current folder. I could drag it. So this is the same as what we had before. So maybe I want to put it in my PNGs. It put it in there, then I might want to put it in. I'm going to just save it to my current folder, which means it would be going in here. So all of those are just what it was in Media Place as well. So if I go in here, I can do the tagging just like I did before. I can do the auto tagging and then I can say, let's just have some and auto tag. There we go. Now it just added a whole bunch of different tags that could apply to that image. So sorry, right? I'm going to have to seam something into this video so it might not flow so well. I forgot to show you something important. After I showed you that you can change the style, I meant to show you that you also can click here for inspiration and it will show you all different styles different prompts that you could use. So it will tell you what style to use um, and different prompts, different ways that might help to start. If you want an image, you can do this. It will help your creative process and you can create similar. So even if we want a person type of view, we have it here and then you can change this prompt to be a woman if you want a woman and you want her to be a little older and you so you can totally change all of this up as well so don't forget that there's the inspiration and I'm sorry I forgot to say that and I'm interrupting my own video to come back and put this in and the other AI we have is speech so here there are a lot of Here's some hints for you here, but let's look at all these voices. You can favorite some of them and then give a preview. The truth of the matter is that you always know the right thing to do. If you don't know where you are going. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but you must welcome change as the rule, but not as your ruler. Love is a serious mental disease. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Ideas are the beginning points of all fortunes. You can't blame gravity for falling in love. So you, they're pretty good sounds, right? Those are some nice voices and you can sort just by female or just by male. And did I already say you can favorite them? I think I did. So you can also favorite them. And here I'm just going to scroll through so you can see how many voices are in here. And we won't listen to them all. I don't, I favorited these a while ago. All our knowledge has its origins in our perceptions. All our knowledge. And I'm. I can't remember if I was just choosing them because I really liked them or I was just practicing. Life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. Happiness can exist only in acceptance. Oh. I think I actually saved that one because I might be able to change it to a child's voice. Otherwise, I would not use that voice for a woman's voice. But here are the variety just to show you how many there are. And what I did is I also, um, I have a quick script and we can just see how quick the AI will generate that. So I'm just going to copy paste it here. Let's see. The truth of the matter is that you always know the right thing. Let's just select that one. Um, and now I can generate the speech. And this is telling me how many credits are going to be used 
for this number of characters um, that I use. So it's going to use 1.48 credits. Now the video, the images had one credit per image, but clearly this isn't taking one credit per um, word or per, per uh, character or per, per generation. I'm having a hard time speaking. So here, let's just see how it sounds. I was so lucky to get early access to Media Place AI. And like everything this team develops, it is amazing. If you already have Media Place, just click the update prompt when you open your app. If you don't already have Media Place, now's the time to purchase. I have shared the Media Place link in the description below. So here I can drag this to a folder. I can save it to the current folder. So I'm just going to do that so I don't lose it. I'm not necessarily going to use this again, but I can also, like I did with the image, I can drag it and put it in any of the folders that I already have. So those aren't too bad. Those give you some really neat options for AI. We have the right um, the original slideshows and backgrounds, and I'm not going to go over all of those. Plus, I did such a quick introduction to what is here, but I'm going to link to their YouTube and their Facebook group so that you can see their own videos that are introducing and their tutorials on Media Place on their YouTube and their Facebook group that has a pretty active group. The, um, the developers are on there and there's a lot of people sharing a lot of information, asking questions and getting those questions answered. So check it out if you don't have it. Update your app if you already have Media Place and you will have access to all of this.